What's up everybody, Grievous here, and welcome back to the Gotcha Games. This week's featured pack is Raging God of the Sea. That's right, Mako Tsunami would be proud knowing that his floppy fish market is getting some awesome support. The featured cards that we're looking to pull out of this set is the Ocean Dragon Lord Kairu Shin, Mega Fortress Whale, World Sea Dragon Zalantis, CZ's Nash Knight, and Barian's Chaos Draw. Let's go ahead, pull our 10 packs, and let's see if we can't pull any of these awesome cards. All right, here we go. Not looking too good for Mako Tsunami's floppy fish market. Gotta tell you that much. Only two shining ones. <laughs> Not a great start. We got the Batlin Boxer Cheat Commissioner, AI's Ritual, Magical Exemplar, Gimmick Puppet Twilight Joker, Ice Knight, Sea Stealth Attack, Electric Jellyfish, Sea Stealth Number Two. All right, pack number two. Uh, my man's popping up. How you doing? I was hoping you'd show up. Transforming into that Golden Glow. Maybe there's gonna be some big hits in here. And nope, but hey, you know what? We got something shiny. Scrap Soldier, Bujinji Hair, Salaman Great Beat Bison. Backup Rider, Lantern Shark, Pyrathy the Ghost Pirate, I have never seen that card, Amphibious Bulgroth MK11, Buzzsaw Shark, oh look, a shark, <laughs> the, oh, how you doing, you're transforming, my man's popping up, that golden glow, maybe there'll actually be something inside this pack, there is something, and there's something in the pack in the pack. <laughs> Our first one and our second one. All right. We got the Crusadia Leonis, Darkton the Mechanical Monstrosity, Dogmatica Genesis, Elemental Hero Escarado, Seventh Eternity, Fish Sonar, Kadaris, and Seventh Eternity. Pack number four. Coming up. Lackluster pack opening so far. Uh, you guys can probably already tell where I'm heading at on the got or got it. We got the Sea Koala. World Legacy Whispers, Ad Libtum of Despia, all right, Steel Swarm Longhorn, <laughs> Lifeless Leaf Fish, Seventh Eternity, Rock Scales, Rage of the Kairu Shen. Can we get the Kairu Shen himself? Can we get him himself? My man's popping up on one of the two showing Golden Glow packs. Hopefully adding that extra spice, flipping it over. Hey, it is an SR. We'll take it. Oh, and it's a prismatic. That's the second time I've done that. Got a prism, or excuse me, a royal. Gosh, chaos in master, crawler Ranvir, flamevel archer, vampire genesis, buzzsaw shark, torrential tribute. All right, sea stealth attack, navy dragon mech, and we got him in a royal finish. That's cool. Wish I still use those dragon mechs in my uh, extra decks. We got pack number six. Blue glow, blue background, making me feel blue, burning dragon, harpy lady sisters, restoration of the monarchs, imprisoned queen arch fiend, ocean dragon lord neo Daedalus, amphibious bug roth mk11, lantern shark, kairu shins dark reef, pack number seven coming up, how you doing, no transformation, there's a transformation, Golden Glow, we'll see it, I'll believe it. Flipping him over. Hey, all right, all right. Bujinji Wolf, Dark Lord Nergal, Supreme King Dragon, Odd Eyes, Sharv, Sarga, Kairushin's Dark Reef, uh, Pyrathi again, the Ghost Pirate, Sea Stealth Attack, Kairushin's Dark Reef. Pack number eight. Man, we need some hits to turn this around, I'll tell you what. We need some secret sleepers. Speaking of secret sleepers, we got a featured pull hidden away. Super Rush Recklessly, Photon Advancer, March of the Dark Brigade, King's Knight, Lantern Shark, CZ's Nash Knight, Sick, Sea Stealth Attack, Rage of the Kiro Shin, Pack number nine, coming up. Can we get another hidden featured? Can we get, there's something out of the pack. Hey, you know what? We'll take that dupe. Super Heavy Samurai Soul Piercer. Elemental Hero Escaradu. Psychroid. Bujinji Regalia the Sword. Mermaid Shark. Sea Stealth Attack. Parathi. <laughs> Seventh Eternity. Pack number 10. Be awesome to get another, another featured pull. Be awesome to get another featured. It's in the pack. Flipping them over. 
Uh, we'll take it. We got the Morph King Steggy Gel, Fabled Mitsutoji, Machina Irradiator, Star Seraph Scale, Kairushin's Dark Reef, Kairushin's Dark Reef, Mermaid Shark, Fury of the Kairushin. All right, let's go ahead, head over to the recap. I'm gonna go ahead and do this traditionally since uh, we didn't get much. Starting off first with the Fish Sonar. Add one level seven or lower monster from your deck to your hand that mentions Umi or is a water normal monster. Then if Umi is on the field, you can special summon one water normal monster from your deck. You can only activate one Fish Sonar per turn. All right, Fury of the Kairu Shin. Normal spell, add one Torrential Tribute from your deck to your hand. If a water monster you control would be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. You can only use each effect of the Fury of the Kairu Shen once per turn. Alright, Elemental Hero, Iskaradu. You need one Elemental Hero monster plus one Dark monster. It is a level 8, 2500 attack, 2000 defense fusion. Must be fusion summon. Gains 100 attack for each Elemental Hero monster in your graveyard. There's a lot better Element of Hero cards out there, not gonna lie. At least we got two of them. Navy Dragon Mech is up next. Our Royal Rare, level 9, 2700 attack, 1800 defense, machine synchro effect, one tuner plus one plus non-tuner monster. If this card is special summon, you can target face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of tuners in your graveyard. Negate their effects until the end of this turn. If this synchro summon card is destroyed by card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one tuner in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Interesting card. Uh, I do like that it is prismatic. It is a nice generic synchro. Uh, CZ's Nash Knight is our last card in the recap. It is the featured card. We pulled it. It is a level 6, 2000 attack, 3000 defense. You need three level 6 monsters. It is an aqua. You can also see some of this card by using Nash Knight you control. Transfer its materials to this card. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. You can detach one material from this card. Special summon from your extra deck one number Z's monster that has a number between 101 and 107 in its name. Using this face-up card you control as material, but destroy it during your opponent's next end phase. This is treated as a Z summon. Transfer its materials to the summon monster. You can only use this effect of Z's Ash Knight once per turn. Interesting, interesting card. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. As you guys can see, uh, we got five supers, one ultra. The ultra was a feature, but you know what? It just it left a bad taste in my mouth. So in this video, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say that we got God. Thank y'all so much for watching. If y'all made it this far, comment down below. Let me know your favorite card that we pulled from this set. And until next pack opening, guys, this has been Griefus saying, gotcha.